Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to create a sliding system inside of Unreal Engine. Say my player character tries to go up this steep hill, they're automatically going to start sliding down it because it's just too steep. Or if my player character tries going up this steep hill, they'll just automatically start sliding back down. To get started, we want to head over to our mannequin folder and go to the animation folder and we just want to close Unreal and import this sliding animation. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download the sliding animation. So we just want to drag this in and for the skeleton we want to select the E4 mannequin and just click import. So this is just a placeholder sliding animation. Feel free to use your own sliding animation if you have one. Next, we want it so that our character can do the sliding animation. So we want to head over to our third person animation blueprint. And we just want to go to default, so select here. Or if you start in the animation graph, just double click into the state machine. And what we want to do is just drag in our sliding animation. And we want to drag from the idle slash run to the slide. And we want to drag from the slide to the here. So we're going to make it so that our player will enter the sliding transition when they're sliding. So we just want to double click inside here and create a new variable. I'll just call this is sliding and just drag this in and hook this into here. And then we want to double click inside here and drag the is sliding here and look for not boolean and hook this into here. And we just go back. So if I just compile this and click the is sliding, my character will do that sliding animation. And we also just want to hook from jump loop to here because we're going to make it so that if our character say is jumping in the air and then they land on a sliding platform, we want them to enter that sliding animation. So we just want to double click here and also just drag in the is sliding and hook this into here and compile. So now we've set it up so that our character can do the sliding animation. Next we're going to set up the code where, so when my player walks on an angle which is really high that they'll just automatically start sliding. So to set that up we can go to our third person BP, go to our blueprints and go to the third person character. And we just want to head over to the event graph and the first thing we want to do is just find some free space and right click and look for event tick. And then we want to right click again and look for add custom event and we want to call this can slide question mark. And event tick, we're going to run this event. So we just want to drag it here and look for can slide. And what we're going to do on can slide is check to see the floor that the player character is on. And if that floor angle is high enough, then we're going to make the player character automatically start sliding. Although we always want to make sure that the player only runs this event if they're on the ground and on the floor. So in order to set that up, we just want to drag it here and look for branch. And then drag in character movement. Drag off here and look for is falling because if the character is falling, that basically means they're in the air and we don't want to basically run the can slide event. So as long as this is false, then we're gonna see if we can slide. So the first thing we're gonna do is just drag in the character movement. And from here, we can just drag up here and look for current floor. And this will basically get the current floor that the player character is on. So we'll just close this. So right now my player is on this floor, so the event will basically get the current floor that he's on. Then what we're gonna do off here is just, just drag up here and look for break, find floor result. So let's basically break the data inside of here. We just want to click this arrow and then just drag off the hit result and look for break hit result. And this basically gives us all the information about what's underneath the player's current floor. And what we want to do is just drag off the impact normal. Make sure you select this one and drag it here and look for dot product. And we want to put one here in the Z axis and drag it here. And we're going to look for ACOS D. We want to select the ACOS in degrees. And this will basically calculate and tell us the angle of the slope that the player is currently on. So we can just right click and look for print string and hook this into here and connect from false into here and you'll see what I mean. So we can just go compile. So just test this out and go play. And currently we can see that the floor angle that my player character is on is zero degrees. However, if say I was to drag in this cube and I'm just going to expand it so if I just go play and I go up to the slope angle, we can see that the angle that my the, of the floor that my player character is currently on is 30 degrees. So we'll basically be using this to tell us what angle of floor that the player character is on. So we can head back to the third person BP and we can just delete this and right click here and promote this to a variable and call this slope angle. And then we just want to hook from false into here. 
And if this slope angle is greater than 30 degrees, we're going to make it so the player character automatically starts sliding. You can make this number lower or higher if you want to. So then after this, we just want to drag up here and look for a branch. So if this is true, then we'll just drag up here and look for do once. And then we're going to drag up here again. And we're going to have a delay of 0.2 seconds. And then we want to drag in our character movement and look for set walkable floor angle. And we just want to set this to be one. And this will basically make it so the player character starts sliding. And then we want to just drag up here and look for set actor rotation. Because we're going to make it so the player character's rotation is facing the floor angle that they're on. So in order to calculate and get the correct rotation values, we want to just head back here and just drag off the impact normal and look for make rotation from ZX. So we want this one, the second one. And for the X, we just want to right click and look for get actor forward vector and hook this into here and connect this into here. And this will make it so the player has the correct rotation when they're sliding. Then what we want to do to make life easier, we're going to create a reference to our third person animation blueprint and tell the game that we are now sliding. So in order to create an easy reference for this, I'm going to just right click here and look for event, begin play. And event begin play, we can drag in our mesh. From here, we can cast, from here, we can drag off and look for get anim instance and from here we can cast to our third person animation blueprint and then we can just right click on here and promote this to a variable and call this as third person animation blueprint and then when we do all of this we're just going to drag in here so we'll get the third person animation blueprint reference and then we'll drag it down for set sliding and we'll set its sliding to be true And then we want to drag in our character movement and look for set orient rotation to movement and just leave this unchecked. So what this basically does is make it so that the player won't be able to basically rotate. So I just go to my character movement and go to the rotation. By default, this is checked. If I just leave this unchecked and go play, we can see that my player character doesn't basically um, turn to rotate to where they're facing. So when we're sliding, we just want it to be like that. So we can just leave that unchecked. I'm just gonna turn mine back on. So that's what's gonna happen if we are sliding. Then if the player character encounters a slope angle which is less than 30 degrees, we'll make it so the player character is not sliding. So we'll just drag off false and look for a branch. And then we wanna check that the slope angle is less than, let's say 10 degrees. And if this is true, if the player character is sliding, then we're going to make it so they stop sliding. So we can drag in our third person animation reference and we want to check that is sliding. So we'll look for get sliding and drag off here and look for a branch and take this into here. So if the player character is on a slope angle which is less than 10 degrees and the player character is currently sliding, we're going to make it so the player character stops sliding. And the first thing we'll do is drag in our character movement. I drag off here and look for set walkable floor angle. By default, this value is 44, so we'll change this back to the 44 value and hook this into true. And then we want to drag in our as third person animation blueprint reference and drag off here and look for set sliding and just leave this unchecked. And then we want to drag off here and look for set actor rotation and we just want to right click so right click and make sure we can see the split structure pin and then we want to right click again and look for get actor rotation and right click here and split the structure pin and just hook up the z this will just make it so the player character is on their normal rotation again and then we can just copy this bit this orient rotation to movement and make sure that this is checked and then we want to hook this bit into the reset. 
and we can go compile and close this and we can just test this out so let's say I make this a bit steeper and wider if I go play and I go up here after 0.1 seconds my character starts sliding and falls back so if you wanted to um, change how long it takes before the game starts sliding player that's what this delay here is so if I make this like 0.5 seconds and close this and go play when the player reaches a slope angle which is higher than 30 degrees after 0.5 seconds it's going to make them start sliding so that's why you'll change that and if I was to drag the player character and make them start here if I go play they automatically just start sliding on this angle so with that we have created a sliding system for our game that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did like and subscribe so this video is shared to more people and i'll see you guys next time bye